Here we are, the men's reserves division. Singapore debuting here at the 2023 Nepal Championships against Western Australia. Singapore are really pumped up and Western Australia have a lot of supporters as well. It's tough to play in a different country, of course. Let's see how the Singaporeans do. So Western Australia takes the centre pass. Singapore holds their hands over straight away, but Western Australia also. It's just a bit messy in the beginning, which is to be expected on the day one of the, of the championships. Western Australian goal attack nails it. Oh, so slick. I, I guess we should expect from the Singaporeans that they don't use their height. It's a normal thing. They will challenge with deception and dodges.
And welcome to Bendat Stadium. We do apologize for the delay. My name is Mandy Love. Joining me is one of our lovely umpiring officials, Ree Turton. Ree, welcome to the call. Thanks, man. It's great to be here. Yeah, so we're in the men's reserves division. We've got the lovely international side, the Singaporean team, up against our West Coast Thunder. Scores are currently 25 to 13. Bit of a box-like D set up by the Thunder. So, Rhi, I'm really interested to hear your take on the game as a, from an official perspective because you see things that we as the viewers don't necessarily see. Some players may think we see a little bit too much, Mandy, but, um, you know, look, the men's netball is such a fast game these days and there's so much to look at and, um, you know, the formations and just the ability to come through cleanly um, is just incredible to watch. And obviously, as an umpire, we have to be on top of everything. Yeah, absolutely. So Singapore have the sideline throw in, inching all the way to circle edge. And James King just comes through the inside arm, so needs to use the outside arm. He'll get a free uh, parcel shot at the goal. And Brady getting right up in there. So the captain, Dan Ross. To get us underway, Hawthorne connects. It's a great drive to the circle, Matt. It's um, circle's edge, Matt. Uh, Mandy by King there. And finishing it off by our goal attack. Absolutely. And there are so many supporters here in the crowd supporting the teams here in the West. So the men's reserves team is no different. They're looking for the lob ball. Got it. On a string. King goes up. Singapore scores another goal. And just that aerial thing, Mandy. Like, it's just amazing to see how much elevation these guys can actually get. Yeah, so it looks like some changes have been made as Mo Hosier comes back onto court. Hawthorne has to kick it out to King. And the ball just gets touched by Singapore, but it's allowed to play on. Smart play from the goal attack. So down court comes Singapore. It's a very long weekend in the men's reserves division. So men's reserves has, I believe, nine teams currently, and they've got to go to a top four um, for their playoffs. So you've, you, every game matters here in the men's reserves division. So I was looking at that earlier in the fixtures, and I just thought, oh, my God, nine full-on games. And it's not like, I believe, I think, in the Open where there's five teams, but they're playing everyone three times. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so... Everything is, you know, do or die in here, and there's no easy ones. Yeah, there's no second chances, and that's a great defensive stoppage from both wing defences. And just a late contact, late in there on the Singapore wing defence going back on. So on court. And Ross with the ball in hand, connects to King. Middy's connecting. Hawthorne strong on the baseline. And that'll be the 27th goal for the West Coast Thunder with a 12-goal lead with two minutes to spare. Oh, great defensive work from Jonah Ness. Thought it would have been a bit of an inside arm. Potential contact, but we won't say anything. Oh, look, man, we sometimes allow the bit of the contest. We like a bit of a contest. We were saying that in the 23s game. Like, it's, it's almost allowed to happen because both people are going straight up in the air, going strong at the ball. Yeah, and as an umpire, we're looking for, is it interfering with, um, you know, the does it change anything? Is it interfering with the down-the-court play, that sort of stuff? So, you know, if it's not interfering too much, then we more than often than not will allow the contest. Yeah, absolutely. And Hosea gets a touch on it, gets offside, though. So Coach Theresa Newton having a bit of a giggle at her shooter running on defence. For those watching at home, you might recognise Theresa Newton. She's a bit of a familiar face. She was on Channel 10's The Traders earlier on this year. And for those that were at the opening ceremony, she was just a hoot man. So, oh, was um, she? Yeah. Was she and playing I, up? Oh, she was, it was quite funny. One of the most entertaining um, opening ceremonies that people have seen, I believe. And I think she's actually the MC for the presentation night next Saturday. So. Oh, look out, everybody. It's going to be the roast. So 30 seconds left to play. They've, teams have started to get used to the fact that there are multiple sort of sirens running at alternate times here. And King collected in a heavy collision but plays on quickly, finds Hosea and nails it. Nothing but net. 20 seconds left. Can they hold them out? 
really enjoy this goal attack for Singapore. Oh, oh Brady well just had to fight over his teammate. He's got to send it. Four seconds left. Oh, fade away. Oh, unlucky. So 28 plays 16 in favour of the West Coast Thunder up against international invitational team Singapore. We welcome them to Perth. And we are looking forward to what will be a great second half of netball. Joining us just shortly after this. Having a pretty good season this year, Andy. By the look of this lot, you are too. Well, we've got a good team out in the field. You want to go meet them? Sure. So what do you grow here? We've got broccolis, collies over there, carrots, you name it. We harvest it today, catch. And it's in the stores tomorrow. So you guys are the midfielders of the fruit and veg. At Spot Shed, we grow it. We sell it. You save. Giving this season everything we've got. Just try and stop us. Don't miss the excitement of West Coast Fever at RAC Arena. Tickets on sale now at ticketech.com.au. Giving this season everything we've got. Just try and stop us. Don't miss the excitement of West Coast Fever at RAC Arena. Tickets on sale now at ticketech.com.au. AMNA Championships 2023, proudly supported by Blade on WA, Great Temptation, Temptation Sweet Treats, Spud Shed, West Coast Fever and Netball WA. West Coast Thunder are proudly supported by Forte Physiotherapy, WA Sports Performance, Spud Shed, Subiaco Sports Massage, The Wembley Hotel, Fresh Frontier and Smell Sea by Chelsea. Welcome back to Bendat Stadium. We've got the men's reserves division here and there round. We've got the home team, West Coast Thunder, coming up against the international invitational Singaporean team. West Coast Thunder out very early in the traps. My name is Mandy Love and joining me is Rhea Turton. She's one of our lovely officials over the course of this week's championships. Rhea, 
just in our short time watching, what have you noticed and what have, what, what have you enjoyed watching so far? Oh, look, man, look, I just love watching the men's game. It's so fast and physical, but um, they're just so athletic. And it's a, it's great to see where this game is heading. Um, I think it's a fantastic direction that um, it, it is going in. And just the promotion that it's, uh, this tournament is bringing for the men's game is fantastic. Yeah, so it looks like there's been a couple of changes here in the men's reserves. Team for the boys, the guys in the West. So it looks like uh, Spadano has come on in at centre. Hawthorne remains at goal attack. King still at wing attack. Got a new goal shooter. Now that is Mona Tangata. I'm glad you're saying his name, <laughs> Mandy. <laughs> and we've also got down the back end as well, I believe that is Toby Miller in the wing D role. Ian Brady in at goal defence. And at the back, I think that is Jordan Stoddard. Stoddard. So see how these changes impact the game. Tangata. Oh, the lift. Oh, that was pretty exciting to watch. Yeah, it's just incredible to see what they can do. So, And then just sagging off slightly. So if they're sagging, I want them to attack the next line of the phase of the ball, you know. So West Coast Thunder. Oh, Brady's called out of play. Just going to say, and these Brady and Miller, they bring a depth of experience down to that WA um, uh, defensive line as well. So Toby can actually play sort of, a, you know, in the circle as well as out. So it'll be, um, they'll be a very formidable team on that transverse line for West Coast Thunder. And positional switch too for the Singaporean shooters. So the one that we really enjoyed in goal attack has now moved into goal shooter, uh, Tangata. And just got held off a little bit. So the pass just probably pushed a bit too far out of his reach. What can Singapore do with this possession? Oh, Hawthorne, where did he come from? Did you like the little footy pass? <laughs> I actually thought, oh, it's the wing attack, man. But no, it's um, Hawthorne. Great footwork to get around him. Okay, technical question. Is that classified as a pass or is that a potential replay? Uh, well, being that he hadn't had control of, uh, hadn't gained full control of the ball, he can, he's well within his rights to give that little tap off. Um, obviously, if he'd grabbed it and then tapped it later, then that's a whole different kettle of fish. Oh, Spadano tries to go on quickly. Defence strong on the contest. So two on one inside the West Coast Thunder shooting circle. Oh, Hawthorne can't make them pay. Tangata so strong on the rebound. And delivers for his side. Spadano look to use the burners here. Both on the same side. Tangata looking for the lob. Hawthorne enters quickly on that front space. He's just giving so much drive down there, man. So quick. He's the first one in that circle and just creating so much space. And that's exactly, like, he is exactly that. He is a creator. He works the space well. Oh, cheeky pass. Didn't get past the right. Singaporeans, though. And Tangata has to go on. Nailing another goal for that West Coast Thunder. So that is 32 to 17 in the third quarter. Brady has them held up high. A nice defensive pressure. Full court defensive pressure from the West. And Hawthorne well picks up the scraps. And... They've come through again. So, again, both left and right. Kind Whoa. of a little bit scrappy here. But, you know, these are the swings and roundabouts that the team goes. Oh, Stossard really just read that so easily. And Miller comes on the exit now. Spadano finds Brady, connects him with King. Oh, that, this is just pretty transitional network, netball, isn't it? It is very much so. They've just got a lot more space than obviously the Singaporean team um, and the guys that are making use of that space. Didn't get the conversion, though, at the end, at the very last one, so must go on. And looks to go over. A nice sportsmanship handing, like, you know, picking each other up. Yep. Nothing like a friendly little bump, man. Yep. They call it the love tap, apparently. <laughs> and lines up. That's another goal for the Singaporeans. So they're at 18, currently trailing at like a 32-goal point scored for the West Coast Thunder. So they're looking to chase and hunt this goal down, this margin down. So it's a 14-point margin. 
had to do my math there. Took me a bit longer than I wanted to be on a sport. And Tangata, so Great strong. Great take. So strong. Just never looked in doubt, even under that defensive pressure from the Singapore defenders. Protected the space very well as, as well. And We've got an injury here, oh, I think, man, to the centre. The centre. Yeah, so he doesn't look good at all. It looks like the ankle. He's in a lot of pain. I'm yeah. surprised he's actually walking off. So and there's a few other changes. I believe we've got a new wing defence come on for Singapore as well in that change. I think he was actually in the rolling sub box before, man. So, and you know, and this is what this is the beauty of nationals. You know, like you, you come in with a, a squad of twelve, and you've just got to be able to make it work for the, the course of the week. You know, some teams are already down to nine players. Yeah, I've seen after a few, round one. Yeah, I've seen a few um, injuries go down, and you sort of hope um, nothing like, too hope serious. Nothing too serious. I know even in our umpire squad, um, uh, there's a few that are feeling already on day one, and you just it just puts more pressure on everyone to make it through that week. Absolutely, it does, and it and this is the thing. You know, this is only day one of the championships right now, and we're having to really go deep already into the depth of the squad so you know teams don't win nationals on day one so how the, the fast paced tempo that they're playing now I want to see this level come day four so that that gets me excited because yep. everyone can be fit and fast on day one show me that day four that's right and there's a footwork call so turn over to West Coast Thunder and it is and I mean we were discussing earlier the nine teams in um in the open or the reserves men and that just makes it even harder man's because obviously in some of the other grades you can play each other a few times so you can sort of ease your way into those games knowing that maybe the next one will you know you'll do some things differently but here there's none of that they've just yeah got to go for broke and you know and you might have one of the top teams at full strength early in the round and then another team might knock them off halfway through the week that you just were not expecting and that's the beauty of the men's reserves division and that's why it's one of the divisions that I'm, I'm quite interested in as Brady comes well through done. just the turn of pace, knew he was going to get line of the ball. You know, he's part of their, their leadership group here in the West Coast Thunder Men's Reserves. And Jake Hawthorne, so steady at the back. Yeah. Just needs to finish, though, with the shot. Take a breath. Get some... Not that I am a shooter, man. <laughs> Very far from it. Uh, my I love that you were talking them through it, though. <laughs> my step-by-step -step tutorial on how to shoot. My team at home, we have a bit of a giggle. Obviously, I'm not the tallest person, and um, we have a bit of a laugh that I'd like to get in goals, and they seem to never let me. So, um... Well, you clearly know your stuff because you're talking about you know what they needed to do, and Brady just on the ball, right place, right time. I think it's more about getting that ball through the circle, um, getting it through the hoops, man. So maybe that's where I let myself down. That's why and I think I stay with the whistle. <laughs> and Hawthorne has to collect himself. And looks to offload to Tangata. And for the West Coast Thunder, it looks like Dan Ross might be reappearing on the court. So Spadano will take this defensive setup. And again, just sagging. So I don't know if that's a, from a strategic point of view, but I would like to see them pick up the second and third phase play because this Singaporean team, they're fast, they're quick, they're, like, they're really agile. And you can see it. They, they have it. It's just a matter of that consistency and doing it on a regular basis. And getting that control, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, just that high arm around the shoulder of the shooter as he's attacking the ball. And going through, so WA will have the centre pass here. Finds King. And I think for me, like, this will be a really good game for the West Coast Thunder team just to really cement their structures, get build their confidence in terms of um, combinations on court yeah. as they lead into, like, as they go deep into this week's tournament. Yeah. And, look, the Thunder is a good mix. We've got, you know, a bit of a mix of, like, youth and experience in there. So it's spread it out across the court, which is a great way to have your team. Yeah, absolutely. And footwork call. You get, um, I can see the nod in your head, obviously the right call. <laughs> yeah, I, I agreed with that one. I was pretty happy with that call. And goes long to pocket. And Tangata just opened up the space so incredibly well for himself, didn't he? Yep. 
Yep, gives him just all that back space. A few quick feet and in we go. Great feed in from the attacker. And Dan Ross down on circle edge early. Gets the early release. Finds Tangata. Really starting to find their rhythm now here in attack. Oh, great defensive work from the wing attack King. for was King. Ross with the ball early release as right. well. And just that pinpoint precision in, on that feed in. So, you know, um, the shooter is in that right position, but it takes that good center, oh, that feed in from our midcourt um, to release as well. And Singapore have the turnover. And they just need to be able to look at converting this into points, pressure into points. Oh, I'd love for him to just line up to post. Yeah. You know, you could see him sort of like not quite confident to turn direct to post, even if he wasn't going to shoot the ball. You know, like have a look at it. Get the defender to get back three feet before you. That's better. Yeah. And takes it. I'm okay that it missed. You know, the, the more important thing was that he actually went for it. Yep. And, oh, a bit of a zone set up oh, from the and Singaporeans. He's... And they've got it. Yeah, sideline throw in. Yeah. Great win for the Singaporeans. I was going to say, I actually think he's just gone offside there, man. So oh. he's taken the throw in but had one foot astride of the transverse line. So obviously, even though it's a throw in, we still have to maintain um, that we're in offside the... Offside rule. Yeah. <laughs> Coach Teresa Newton just saying, hey, you guys need to work it to circle edge. Don't be lazy. She'll be the first one to tell you if you're not doing your job. So Jake Hawthorne will get the penalty, the penalty attempt. And goes has to go back door as they come back through. Great hands over pressures from our WA Thunder guys though. Oh, I believe, I think the umpire has just given Brady a caution. Um, I'm guessing it's because it was uh, like just the late um, to the body. So he obviously could have pulled out of that one. Um, we want to make sure that we're protecting our players. So, Yeah, absolutely. You know, at the end of the day, like you've got to have that sense of control about, you know, what you do out on court. No one goes out with the intent to do harm, but there's, there's a very fine line. There is, yeah. And obviously we want to ensure player safety for everyone. So um, these players are obviously very skillful and they know when they can and can't, um, you know, get that ball or whatnot. So we most of the time they do actually pull out. So, yeah. But typical men's netball, man. They love a bit of, um, you know. Bit of show stuff, a bit of oh, magic. Oh, that's right. Just sprinkle some on top, as you will. That's something special. And why wouldn't you? Like, this is your one chance to shine. This week of all weeks. Oh, great eyes. So eyes up, looking long down the court, and fantastic passing. And, you know, this is what it's all about. You know, you get to live for these moments. You know, we, for men's netball, you know, we don't get a lot of exposure at a sort of a domestic level. So when we get to have this elite performance... Um, we, we've got to take it with both hands, you know, and you see everyone just living for every ball, every moment. Absolutely. Oh, I think we've got another... Injury? Yeah, so I think it was the injuries being called by the wing defence for Singapore, but um, the centre's going to be... He's got his bib on upside down, yep, but he's he wearing it the right on. way. <laughs> Great defensive pressure here from the West. Oh, oh bad luck. He had a go. It was there to be taken, um, but it just unfortunately not enough. Was worth taking flight. And King with the ball in hand. What can the worst do? Oh, early, yeah, probably. I don't think Tangata was quite set. And Singapore in the baseline. Good drive into the circle. Oh, a little look away pass. Great work. And finished off by the goal shooter. And there's some great support in the crowds in the hallways as well. As they're supporting their team for the West. Oh, 
Oh, Stoddard comes around. Got 90 seconds to play. And another one by, for the goal shooter. One, once he's got that ball in there, man, he actually hasn't missed too many. No. Oh. And just flirting with that three it seconds, was isn't he? Well held, though, so just enough to draw off that defender and um, get that ball in. So I think offside call? Yep, offside call. So just having to reset the penalty into Tangata. Plenty of time left here on the reserves court. Show court three here at Bendat Stadium. Can Singapore get a score across the line? Oh, we've had two offensive um, contacts there, Matt. That, one at either end of the corner, I was going to say, did that happen simultaneously? Because yeah. I was looking at the other end. Not going to lie, I'm a tad confused right now, so I don't know how the people on court feel. <laughs> but, you know, play your play goes on. Oh, oh Jonah right Ness. Hand. He's one of these really dogged wing defenders. He will tag and just really make life difficult for you. I can imagine me as a wing attacker. It would make my life. Yeah, not the easiest. Yeah, not a great time. And on attack, he's just really steady. Oh, going long and great job by the goalkeeper for Singapore. So as we round out the third quarter, West Coast Fever with a significant lead here, 44 goals against 25. Singapore have a lot to do in this last 15 minutes, but they've got the desire, they have the will. Can they get it an inch this, this margin back? Stay tuned with us shortly after this. And welcome back to Bendat Stadium here in the lovely Perth WA who are hosting your Australian Men's and Mixed Netball Championships for the 2023 calendar year. My name is Mandy Love. All games at the Amna Champs are proudly supported by Bladen WA, Great Temptation Sweet Treats, Spud Shed, West Coast Fever and Netball WA. West Coast Thunder, men's reserves team in a significant lead here. They're currently leading 44 goals to 25 against Singapore. It is their invitational team. It's a great exposure for them to develop their national side. 
as they prepare and get exposure to what netball is like at an elite level. So an offensive contact call. So Brady will get the ball in hand. WA are sponsored by Forte Physiotherapy, who have been providing physiotherapy services and rehabilitation services for West Coast Thunder since its inception. We are a proud sponsor of this athlete group and look after many athletes and general population in the clinic. If you have an injury or chronic pain, see the professionals at Forte Physiotherapy. You can book an appointment online at www.fortephysiotherapy.com. And as we come back in, looks like Charlie King has moved from that wing attack role into goal attack. He teams up with Mo Hosier, who has come off the bench. Look for something special with these two here and down the attack end. So good defensive pressure. I would like to see this West Coast Thunder team really push on and get this lead out to at least 60. You know, 15 goals is... Is a lot to ask. Oh, jump fade away. No, missed attempt. So Miller with the ball finds Brady. And Stoddard in a favoured wing def uh, goal defence position. King through the middle. Ross looks in. And King looking outside to go in. He'll line up. And oh, just falls short, but he gets his rebound, which is all good shooters do. And Hosier lines up and gets another one for WA, for West Coast Thunder. And great feed from Dan Ross, just the early release. Mo Hosier flirts with the three seconds. Oh, and breaking call. No, sorry, apologies. I think it was obstruction. So Singapore with the feed. Oh, long ball in. Oh, right idea. The intent was there. Just that final execution of that, that catching of the, of the ball just gone wanting as the ball travelled down the far end. Another sponsor of West Coast Thunder is WA Sports Performance. Located in Williton, WASP is Perth's premier strength and conditioning and sports injury rehab facility, bridging the gap between amateur and elite performance from youth athlete through to professional. So a very big thank you to all of our sponsors over the course of the week for not only the stay but also the tournament in general. We cannot do this without your support and your help. So from us, we really sincerely thank you guys in helping our talent get through this week as Stothard gets another steal. So Hosier, ball in hand. What can he do? Oh, gets done for the hell ball. Singapore, need to cut through it. The goalkeeper will have the ball. Centre is wide. And nicely done centering it. Oh, sneaky little pass. And they're just well balanced. Oh, Brady comes for a fly. Knew it was going to hit the pocket. Read that like a book. Oh, they're getting fancy here in the West. Can they convince? Oh, no. Hosier called for the offensive contact. Use off the arm against the player. So pushing off. And nicely done. Really like the hold from the goal shooter here. Nothing but net. Great shot. Great technique. And just the shooter to shooter just gone missing. And... Again, just looking for both shooters stuck on the same side. King to line up. Oh, gets the mid-range shot. Great looking from the Thunder. Need more, more supply. Great long bomb into the Singaporean goal shooter. That was great play from the Singapore team. Spadano hitting circle edge, finds Hosier. He'll get another attempt due to the contact. So King looks like he'll step it in. 
offloads to Hosea and who delivers another score for the West Coast Thunder. And the hedging done from Ian Brady. The shooter keeping him very well contained in this passage of play. Oh, and but collects the rebound. Goes long straight away. Miller. Looks like there might have been a bit of a carry from Spadano, but play continues. And nice touch from Dan Ross. Finds Hosea. Just simple triangle play. Gets the job done. So King will get the pass. Looks like he'll be getting the penalty attempt. So he'll look to offload or lines up the shot. I'd like to see him just turn and shoot. Ball spills out of court. So time is held. We've got eight minutes and 48 seconds left on the shot clock. So 50 plays 27. And here we go again. So West Coast Thunder, very impressive. And Stothard, just defensive prowess he has. Just got to take the extra step around the body. Oh, Brady does a fantastic job. Just smothering the feet outside the circle. Slaps the wrist together. And Stothard now called out as well. So both West Coast Thunder defenders out of play. And, oh, penalty not set up. That's the 28th goal for Singapore here in this round. And great strong take from Dan Ross. Miller to take the penalty attempt. Finds Ross, connects into uh, Spadano and works Hosea in close to the goal. A nice touch of pass. And great job by the Singaporean attack. Really hustling for that loose ball. Looks like there is Jonah Ness in the substitution box coming on for Toby Miller in the background. Six minutes left to play. Can the West Coast Thunder get to 60? We'll soon find out. Oh, the defense from Singapore. Just got a hand to it. Oh, Charlie, heavy collision into the Singaporean. Oh, he's down and out. It was just the whiplash that he got on the back as he landed. I wouldn't be surprised if he was looked at for a potential concussion check. It was a heavy knock. So, yeah, it looks like his coach is definitely looking at bringing him off in order to bring him back on. And Ross with the ball, finds Badano. Just Hosier just directing traffic down there and gets the roll around along the baseline. And here is the defensive switch in that goalkeeper position. And Hosea strong on the take. Really demanded that ball from his defenders. Oh, excuse me, from his feeders. 
We've got five minutes left to play here in this men's reserve game. Oh, Brady gets up and gets that strong outlet pass. Here comes Thunder with the dodge along the baseline. Comes Hosea. Does he finish? Yes, he does. Great transition play from the West Coast Thunder. And in comes King. Direct to the post. Great job from the boys in the West. And let's... Oh, Miller through on the first ball contest. King goes long to Hosea. What can he set up? Oh, defensive stoppage from Singapore. Great read from the goalkeeper. His vertical is insane. Really enjoy what this goal shooter is doing. I wish he would be more confident to turn to post. When he does, it's so beautiful. And just that hustle for the ball. Miller called out a play. And Brady called for the obstruction. And Singapore gets another goal for the day. So they've hit 30. And you can see some tired legs out on court. Oh, that athleticism from the GK. Love that. Despite the scoreline, he is still in this match, still fighting. It's what we want to see, that real good intent and hustle. So Miller called out of play. Oh, Brady snaffles another one. And Ross gets the contact call. Oh, and Charlie King strong on the contest. Offloads it to Hosea. And again, scores another goal for his team. They're too shy of 60. Just under three minutes left to play here in the men's reserves division. Can they reach it? Oh, here's that back hold. And he's got it. And so will they look to offload? Will they look to pass? Offload it is. And great job there. Nice little bit of deception with the ball. Oh, loose pass. Just missed the connection in the midcourt. So he must get it back on defence. You know, we want to hit 60 for West Coast Thunder. They deserve 60, but they've got to play solid netball to get there, you know? I don't know if time's going to beat them or not in this game. Being such a tightly contested Division 2 where all games matter, we don't know if this, you know, this might be the difference in terms of the final four standings. So all games need to be played accordingly. Regardless of the scoreline, you know, you've got to just keep pushing on. You've got to keep that scoreboard pressure ticking over. So a minute, minute 30 left to play. Hosea get the ball outside circle edge. Whips it down to the pocket. And Charlie King. And just Dan Ross just shifted ever so slightly. So Singapore with the ball in hand. Can they contain them? No footwork call. So giving position, excuse me, possession back to the West Coast Thunder. This has been a very interesting 15 minutes here in this last quarter of the men's reserves division. Singapore really showing some promise. Oh, missed attempt. Charlie King gets an attempt. And doesn't go to, to Q. So here we go. 45 seconds. And looking to win the ball back and send it back down. Oh, nice footwork done there by Ian Brady. Good defensive switch. Time is called. And that's, oh, she's gone straight to the warning for Ian Brady. I don't know if he was called as a caution earlier. He did get a caution in the first game. I saw him walking around with the funny hat from the men's reserves division. So he might just be keeping that after this match, getting an official warning. Oh, great weighted pass from the Singaporeans. Oh, and the block. Can they get it down quick enough? Will time beat them? Ross. 
Need to get in. Hosea gets it up. Oh, nails it on the buzzer. And that closes out this men's reserves game. West Coast Thunder 59, Singapore 31. What a fantastic display of sportsmanship and really good solid netball. A couple of scrappy moments here and there, but this is all about finding each other out and finding out which combinations work best for your team. So best of luck to both teams as they get stuck into one of the tougher divisions here at the Amna Champs, uh, having to compete against nine teams to make the final four. Good luck from everyone. My name is Mandy Love. Thank you for joining me.